I'm not really sure where electricity comes from. Uh, I couldn't, if you had, if I were asked to explain it, I wouldn't be able to. When it comes to electricity, specifically, uh, we get most of our electricity from coal, natural gas, uh, but also nuclear power, renewable energy. Um, huge installed base of infrastructure to deliver this to us. You know, billion tons of coal we mine every year to deliver that energy. Uh, vast quantities of natural gas, um, uh, about close to 6,000 power plants that we have in place. Uh, these power plants take time to build. They've been built over the course of many, many decades, and many of them, you know, 50 years or more old even. Do we get all of our oil from the Middle East? The world gets only about 30% of its oil from the Middle East, uh, and from the United States we get much less than that. Um, most of our oil comes <laughs> either produced domestically or from Canada, Mexico, Venezuela, you know, some from Nigeria, um, and so uh, we are less dependent on Middle Eastern oil than, for example, Japan, but that really isn't a big deal in terms of the price that we pay because essentially the market for oil is a world market. And so if something goes wrong in the Middle East, that is going to impact us directly in pretty much probably the same as it's going to affect the Japanese, even though we don't get our oil directly from there. What are the ultimate benefits of natural gas? Why do we extract this stuff? I know that natural gas is an alternative, but I just don't know that much about it. It's pretty interesting to consider what the ultimate benefits of natural gas are. Uh, one, among our uh, readily available fossil fuel sources, it's the cleanest. What's well, cleaner than coal is cleaner than oil, and when it's burned to do something, it has less of an impact on the atmosphere. So, uh, and, and it's abundant. Now, it's much more abundant domestically than we thought it was. Electric companies that were planning on building coal-fired power plants have scrapped those plans and are now planning on building natural gas-fired power plants. Um, the whole future of energy has been turned on its head. We now predict that, that coal usage worldwide will decrease and natural gas worldwide will increase. Two or three years ago, it was a completely different prediction. The United States does need some energy security. So the question is if natural gas will bring about that security for the United States. We will be using fossil for our energy sources, fossil fuels for our energy sources in the near future. And natural gas being a clean alternative and being relatively economic to build is probably something that will benefit us on that pathway and, you know, to bridge us to the clean, even cleaner technologies. What about the, uh, the leakage of these contaminants into our rivers? The potential environmental consequences of exploiting that shale gas could be very significant. For example, fouling people's drinking water. How we figure out the balance and how we figure out how to mitigate the, the, the downside relative to the upside is going to be really, really interesting in the coming years. Do we have plans in the future for developing more wind power in the U.S.? So I totally disagree with the notion that renewables, by definition, have to be a small part of the energy equation because we've proven in many states in this country that we can get a significant percentage of our electricity from clean energy sources. So the energy's out there and we can tap it and we can integrate it into the grid. It's not going to provide all the answers, but none of these energy sources are going to provide all the answers. But can it be a great part of the mix? Absolutely. Can it go from two and a half percent to 25 percent? Absolutely.